Hi, and welcome to Mama Time Yoga. My name is Charlotte, and I'll be guiding you through this third trimester practice. I myself am in my 38th week of pregnancy at the moment, so I'm right there with you, and I know that this stage looks really different for everybody. So as always, please take it at your own pace. Listen to your body. If anything doesn't feel good, find another posture. We will be using some props as modification options, so you can use blocks or pillows or blankets or anything that you can roll up to give you a little bit of support in some of the postures. We will go ahead and get started in a comfortable seat on our mats. Okay, so just coming down to your mat, finding where it's comfortable for you to sit today. That might be cross leg or kneeling, maybe with a block underneath the sit bones, if it feels good for you to be a little bit elevated. Take a moment to find where you'd like to be. And then once you get there, sit up nice and tall. Shoulders draw down the spine, lengthening through the crown of the head, the neck. And let's just close those eyes down. Let's take a moment to just allow ourselves to get into this space. Letting go of anything else that might be coming up for us. Let's go ahead and notice how we're naturally breathing into the body. At this stage in your pregnancy, it's probably changing where you can breathe into your body. Usually our yoga breath goes deep into the low belly. That might not be accessible for you. And as we get towards the end of our pregnancy, we start to learn how to breathe out into the ribs. So I just want you to practice that. If that's something you're not used to, go ahead, put your hands on your ribs. And as you take a big breath in, feel the ribs expand out towards the side and the back. Big breath in. Big breath out, feel the ribs come back in. Still taking those deep breaths, just learning where our lungs can expand now. Let's try two more, just like that. Big breath in. And big breath out. Two more. Release the hands down. We're gonna go through a cleansing breath together just to really clear out any stuck energy that might be there and just really allow yourself to find release. So big breath in through the nose and then we're gonna take it out through an exhale in the mouth with a big sigh. So let's take one just like that together. Big inhale. Big exhale, let it go. Beautiful. And if the eyes are closed, you can keep them there or gently open them. Again, finding that nice length through the spine. And let's just take some neck rolls, dropping one ear down to the opposite shoulder, letting the shoulder on the other side really release down, lengthening through the neck. And we'll just roll the head down and forward and over to the other side. Come back to center, taking it the opposite direction now. The ear drops down to the shoulder, lengthening through the side of the neck, releasing the other shoulder down. And if that felt good on the other side, go ahead and take that roll of the neck down and forward really slowly. And coming back to center. From here, we're just going to start to warm up through the sides of the body. So just taking one hand down next to you, the opposite arm comes up and over. Beautiful side body stretch, keeping both 
Sit bones planted to the ground, shoulders are stacked, the heart's nice and open, feeling that length of the side body all the way down into the low back where it might be getting a little tight now. And coming back to center, we'll just take that the opposite direction. One hand comes down, the other arm comes up and over. Feeling that nice side body stretch, all those little back muscles. One more breath here. Back to center. We're going to take that one more time with a different variation. So the hand drops down, the other arm comes up and over. And from here, you're just going to look down at the floor near that hand that's on the ground and then release the opposite hand down. So you're turning towards the opposite hip and leg. You'll just feel a little bit of a stretch through that low back, a little bit deeper here. We're not crunching through the core. We're leaving loads of space for the belly. And then when you're ready, you can come back up to center and we'll take that the opposite direction. The arm comes up and over and then turn the body to look down towards the opposite hand, release the hand down. Next to the other one, you can reach through the fingertips, just feel that beautiful stretch and release through the back. And gently come back to center. From here, we're just gonna move on to all fours. So taking your time to get there may take you a little longer through transitions at the moment and that is perfectly fine. Once you get there, setting up with the hands under the shoulders, fingers spread nice and wide, pressing out through the hands, the knees are under the hips. And we're just gonna go with a really gentle cat cow here. So on the inhale, we're just gonna focus on opening through the heart. We don't wanna drop our belly down too much because it probably won't feel good to stretch through that area. So focus on opening through the heart. And then exhale, round the chin, tuck the tailbone, lengthening through the back body as you push away with the hands. So let's move through a couple of those at your own breath. Big inhale, open through the heart, the chest and shoulders. Big exhale, round through the back of the body, pressing away from the earth. Two more, just like that. Big inhale. Big exhale. Last one. And back to center. From here, we're just gonna come into our thread the needle, but we're gonna take a little bit of a different variation. So I'm gonna face forward so you can see me a little bit better. So I'm actually gonna extend my leg out to the side. I've got my right leg out to the side. My right hand is gonna stay planted. I'm going to extend my left arm up, big inhale, reaching up. As you exhale, Take the left arm under the body, threading the needle, reaching towards the right side, dropping the left shoulder and the left ear down to the ground. So the reason we extend the right leg is so we have plenty of space for the belly when we're rotating towards that leg. We don't want to be restricting any movement in the belly at any time, especially as it's getting bigger in this third trimester. And just taking one more breath here. And then press through the right hand. Big inhale to reach the left arm back up, coming out of it the same way we came in. Exhale, release that hand down. Walk the hands in towards the body. Coming up onto that left knee. Right leg still extended out to the side. Right hand comes onto the leg gently. Left arm reaches up and over. Side body stretch here. Coming back to center. We're going to release that left hand down to the ground. If you've got your block or pillow or anything to support your hand, if you want to bring that, you know, a little bit further up from the ground, if it's not comfortable to bring it all the way there, Take your prop and just place it under your hand, right under your shoulder. I'm actually okay with my hand on the ground, so I'm gonna stick there, but just knowing your options. And when you're ready, 
setting up shoulder staff, reaching the right arm up and over. It's a beautiful side body stretch, but also a great way to strengthen through the sides of the body as well. It's a modified plank in this pose. So one more breath here, reaching toe tips to fingertips, and exhale, coming all the way back up. And we'll just bring that right leg back in, coming back into our all fours. We're just gonna repeat that on the other side. So taking a moment, take a breath here. You might need lots of rest at this point in your practice, and that's perfectly fine. When you're ready, we'll go ahead and extend that left leg out to the side this time. Left hand stays under the shoulder. Big inhale, reaching the right arm up. Big exhale, threading the arm under, reaching it through, releasing the shoulder and the ear to the ground. Finding your breath here. As you feel that beautiful stretch and release through the right side of the neck and shoulder. When you're ready, press in through the left hand to gently come out. Big inhale, reach the right arm up. Big exhale, release. Slowly walking the hands in to bring you up on that left knee. And setting up for that side body stretch. Left hand gently rests on the leg. Right arm reaches up and over. Shoulders stacked, heart nice and open. Coming back up. Again, taking a block underneath the right hand if you'd like to bring the ground up to you a little bit further. Or if it feels good, rest the hand right on the ground under that right shoulder. Left arm comes up and over, reaching toe tips to fingertips, pressing out of the arms, strengthening through the side body. One breath here. And gently coming all the way back up. And we'll just make our way back to all fours again. Taking your time to get there, taking a breath once you're there. When you're ready, we're gonna move into our first down dog of the practice. So just gently bring the hands slightly in front of the shoulders, pressing through all 10 fingers, tucking the toes, lifting the hips up. And see how this feels in your body. If that doesn't feel good, just come back to hands and knees. If it does feel good, really focus on lifting the hips up, bending through the knees. Try to sink those heels down. Maybe bending through one knee and the other, stretching out through the calves. Once you're ready, go ahead and just slowly walk the feet up to the top of the mat, keeping them as wide as you need. Nice and slowly, not worrying where you need to stop. And we're just gonna stay in a forward fold for a few breaths. So again, this is a great place to take your blocks or whatever props you're using, just to bring the floor up to you a little bit more and then fully release the back down keeping the knees nice and bent, hinging from the hips. See if you can fully release through the head, neck, and shoulders, maybe shaking the head no or yes. Let's take one more breath here. And then as you inhale, let's bring the hands to the shins lengthening through the spine, flat back, looking slightly forward. Exhale, come back down. And when you're ready, press through the feet and inhale, reach the arms all the way up to stand. Exhale, hands to heart center. So let's move through two more half sun salutations just like that to move with our breath and continue warming up through the back of our bodies. 
Big inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, gentle bend in the knees as you hinge from the hips. Exhale, brings you all the way back down. Inhale, hands to shins, halfway lift. Shoulders drop down the spine. Exhale, fold back down. Inhale, reach the arms all the way up to rise. Exhale, hands to heart center. Let's do one more just like that. Big inhale, arms reach up. Big exhale, brings you all the way back down. Inhale, halfway lengthen through the spine. Exhale to fold. Inhale, brings you all the way back up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Beautiful, so I'm just gonna turn to face you. We're just gonna move through a couple standing postures here. Inhale, arms reach all the way up. So exhale, we're gonna come into a standing twist. So right hand comes behind us, left arm comes forward, just opening up the shoulders to the side. Maybe looking to the side if that feels good or over towards the back hand. Inhale, taking the arms back up to center. Exhale, twisting the opposite direction. Left hand comes behind, right hand comes forward. Opening up to the side. And when you're ready, arms come up and back to center. From here, we're gonna move through our sunflower position. So keeping the feet about shoulder width, maybe wider if that feels good. And what sunflower is, is basically we're just moving with a big circle with the upper body, with the arms over the head. So take the arms up over the head, grabbing the opposite elbows, keeping those collarbones nice and open. And what we're gonna do is just take the hips over to the right, lean the body towards the left, and then slowly come down and around, keeping a gentle bend in those knees, moving as slowly and as gently as you need to, coming to the side and all the way back up. And let's take that the opposite direction. Hips go to the left, body comes towards the right, brings you all the way down and around, coming all the way back up. So just getting into those hips, the sides of the body that can start to feel really tight at this stage in our pregnancy. Let's take that both directions one more time. Maybe just changing our grip, coming over to the left this time, down and around. Pressing through the feet to rise all the way back up. Last time, opposite side, moving at your own pace. And all the way back up to center. Go ahead and just release those hands. From here, we're just gonna open up through the shoulders, continuing to stand here, taking the hands behind the back, clasping the fingers together, pressing them away from the body, gentle bend through those knees, and just first focus on pressing the hands away from the body, making sure you're not arching the back here, tailbone's nice and tucked, gentle knees, feeling the stretch through the front of the shoulders and the chest. And if it feels good, you can take the uh, fist down towards the body, really focus on pulling them down opening up through the chest here. Big breath. And go ahead, gently release those hands. Give them a little shake out, maybe rolling out through the wrists. That area can continue getting tight as we move through our pregnancy. And we're just gonna come to our malasa, our yogic squat. So maybe have your blocks or your props next to you. You might want them because we'll be there for a few breaths. So big inhale, arms reach all the way up. Big exhale, hinge from the hips, feet nice and wide. Relaxing the body down over the legs one last time. When you're ready, heel telling the feet out a little bit wider if you need, about shoulder width if not wider. Heels come in, toes come out, drop the hips down into that yogic squat. 
So again, this is gonna look really different. Your heels might be up. You might want the block under your hips just to give you a little bit of support and you can just sit there and allow the knees to come open as you press them out with the elbows and the hands at heart center. You might also want the hands down towards the ground for some support. So just finding where you're comfortable here. We're just gonna find our breath. So big inhale, big exhale. See if you can release and soften through the pelvic floor, through all the muscles in the lower part of the body. Big inhale. Exhale, see if you can soften a little bit more through the core, through the muscles around the vagina and the anus. Let's do that two more times, just softening in this area as we prepare to get ready for birth. Big inhale, big exhale release. Let go of any tension. One more time. And think about the link between your jaw and this area as well. So see if you can relax your jaw with this next exhale as well. Any other tension you might have in the body, just let it all go. Big inhale. And exhale, release and soften. Beautiful. And we'll just come back down to a seated position. So Maybe moving your block out towards the side, taking the hands down to support you. So you bring the hips all the way down towards the mat. We're gonna move into a butterfly position. So taking the feet together, the knees nice and wide apart. We're just gonna move the feet a little bit further away from the body. So we're in a little bit more of a diamond shape. Inhale here to lengthen the spine. You might want to exhale and just stay here. This might feel good for you. If you'd like to take it through the hips a little bit more, feel free to hinge forward and reach those fingertips forward a little bit. You'll feel this, you'll feel this through the outside of the hips and maybe even through the low back as well. Breathing into this space. If you're like me, your belly is touching the ground as you lean forward and that's fine, just making sure you're not putting any pressure on it. Let's take one more breath here. And coming back up from here, we're just gonna plant the feet down. You can lean back slightly. I'll show you from this, the side. Feet are nice and bent. You can lean back slightly, but we don't want to be dumping through the shoulders, still pressing up and out through the hands. And just rock the knees from side to side. This can feel good on the outside of the glutes. Also, it just allows us to get a nice gentle twist without compressing the belly, keeping everything nice and open and spacious. When you're ready, coming back to center, we'll take one last pose in our child's pose. So big toes come together, knees nice and wide, and this might look different now that your belly's bigger. So you can take, you know, the same variation with the arms, lengthening the forehead down. If you need to create more space for the belly, you can take the hands under the forehead, the block, under the forehead and just rest there. Or you can even take a pillow under the chest to really help elevate you as well. So finding where you're comfortable and what feels good to your body today might be different day to day. And we'll just focus on our breath here, really feeling the back ribs expand as you inhale. Come back in as you exhale. Using your breath is a beautiful tool to allow your body and your mind to relax and release and soften.
And then slowly coming out of the pose. Taking the hands in towards the body to bring you back up. And just finding either a comfortable seated position or a side lying position. If you want to be in a reclined position where you're still supported with the back up, that's perfectly fine as well. Just finding where you'd like to end our practice today. I'm not doing much on my back anymore. It's, it hasn't been comfortable for me for a while. Uh, you might be different. So again, find where you'd like to be. I'm gonna sit up nice and tall and just bring my hands to my belly. Come back to my breath. Feeling the breath move through the body. Let's take three cleansing breaths together. Big inhale through the nose. Big exhale through the mouth with a sigh. Letting anything go that you need to release. Two more, big inhale. Big exhale. One more like that, big inhale. And big exhale. Keeping the eyes closed down if that feels good. The hands can continue being on the belly. Knowing that you can come back to this cleansing breath, your yogic deep belly breath, whenever you need to release anything, any stress, worry, tension in the body. This is always available to you. Sending yourself some gratitude for making time for your practice today. Honoring your body no matter where it's at. And honoring your baby for choosing to be with you. Welcome to stay here as long as you'd like. You can gently make your way out with me when you're ready, gently opening through the eyes. We'll take one last breath together. Big inhale, reach the arms up. Hands come together, big exhale, bring them down to heart center. Namaste. Thank you so much for practicing with me today. Any movement that you do at this point in your pregnancy is so beautiful. You should be so proud of yourself for where you're at and I'm so excited for what's coming up for you. Keep an eye out for more classes coming up soon. I'll probably do just one more before I give birth to my baby as well and let me know how you found this class and if you have any requests for the last class I do while I'm pregnant. Have a great day. Thank you.